Cody skates has teed it up, and he is ready to put the foot into the ball. And he has, and it looks like it's going to go to Andrews, and it will. He'll take it about three yards deep out to the 10. He's across the 15, little seam there, and into the sideline they'll go to the 26-yard line at the 26, maybe 27. Single setback. That man will be Armstrong. Karras moves under center. They've got him five yards or more behind the line of scrimmage, and it will be a delay. Goes to Armstrong, hits in, bounces off, hits in again, gets back to the line of scrimmage, which was the 27-yard line. Offset in the backfield with a wide to the left, and they put a man in motion. That'll be Iris Williams going back to the left side. Slows up, drops back, throws the ball. It's going to be a catch out to the 35-yard line. Not enough for a first down. The fullback is Jonathan Evans. They're going for a yard here, third and one at their 36, and Armstrong strong the handoff he's trying to get outside and he is hit and I don't know if he made it or not all right here are the chains coming out from the uh, far sideline they stretch him and I think they got it by the nose of the ball just barely picked up that first down so the initial first down of the game belongs to Baylor They'll have it at their 37-yard line. Shotgun for Karras. First time today. Drops back, sets up. And they're going to throw a naked screen out here on the right side. Armstrong across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Second down at about five. Single setback. And they have a trips formation on the left side. And I think they have no tie it in. Hits in. Armstrong bounces off, trying to go to the outside. And he gets it out to the 44-yard line. Maybe the 43. That was a second down. There's a flag. After everything is whistled dead, that came from way back here in the secondary. It looked like to me, Dave, that maybe the Baylor player after the play was a little aggressive and possibly a personal foul against Baylor. Personal foul will be the call on Baylor. Third down and 19. The ball moved back to the 28. They have to get it out to the Aggie 47-yard line. Shotgun for Karras. Pressure up the middle. Throw the ball. Deflected. Intercepted. A&M at the 37-yard line. Coming back to this side of the field at the 30. And now down the sideline. Out of bounds at about the 10. Let's see the official mark. Should have stepped out about the 10-yard line. And that's where it will be marked. First and goal at the Baylor 9-yard line. 12-22. First quarter. No score the Aggies touching it for the first time on the offensive side. Eye formation. Farmer the handoff. Farmer caught behind the line. Dropped back at the 11-yard line. Here's second down and goal at the 11. Hash mark to the left side. Going to throw the ball. Lobbing one up end zone. And it is incomplete. And they're going to be, there's a penalty drop. Terrence Murphy was the intended receiver. He was being guarded by Matt Johnson, who's one of their returning starters out of Pearland. And a flag was thrown in the end zone. Looked like we checked to it on the line of scrimmage there, and they're going to call interference against Baylor, which will give us an automatic first down. First and goal now at the two following the defensive pass interference. A stacked eye. Van Zant in motion. Handoff goes to Joseph. Maybe a yard as they try the middle. A little bit more of a right guard, and maybe a yard there. So it's going to be second and goal at the Baylor one for Texas A&M. Full house backfield. And now Van Zandt again in motion. The snap, uh, I think Van Zandt broke toward the line of scrimmage before the ball was snapped. They swistled it before it was snapped. And a penalty, I believe, coming up against Texas A&M. 11.05 to go on the first. Here is the call. Snap, snap, snap and it is a snap infraction against Texas A&M. The Aggies will come out again with that full house backfield on second and goal. It's been backed up to the six-yard line. And there's Van Sant going in motion, an eye formation. Play action by McNeil. He wants to throw from his 15, lob it in zone. Caught! It's uh, Matekas, I believe. Andy Matekas leaping, bringing it down. Second touchdown of the season for the Aggie tight end Matekas out of Corpus uh, Flower Bluff. Benji, a very nice play action fake. We dry, drug the tight end across there, and he was wide open. Okay, here's the extra point. As it is snapped, Long puts it down, and the extra point is up, and it's good. And your Aggies have taken the lead by a score of 7 to nothing with 10.42 to go in the first. Tim, from a momentum standpoint, confidence standpoint, when you get a ball like that, you get it inside the 10, you're in the red zone, you need to score a touchdown. I think that a field goal right there uh, would have gone more or less to kind of a moral victory for Baylor. I don't want to get into coaching, but I'm not too sure Coach Fran wouldn't have gone for it anyway down there. I, I correct myself earlier, talked about the 12th man being John David Crow's son. It's actually a, a grandson, Tommy Perry. All right, here we go. That one has been kicked through the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. So Baylor starts at their 20. They went on the 27 their first time. Single setback behind Karras, the Baylor quarterback. 
as his snap. Somewhat of a uh, draw or a delay goes to Armstrong. Caught behind the line and dropped back at the 18-yard line. Trips formation. The tight end was covered up. They've set a screen. They're going to blow the uh, flag. No, they didn't blow. They dropped the flag, but out of bounds at the 25 on a screen to the right side. And a flag has been dropped back at the line of scrimmage on a second down and 12. The play carries out to the 25-yard line. On a screen to the right side to Armstrong. Now here is, he turned his microphone off. Illegal procedure will be called against Bale. I'm kind of surprised they let that play to continue to be run in. Three penalties, 29 yards against Baylor. It's second down and 17. The line of scrimmage back to about the 13-yard line. Just shy of the 12. Single setback, two wides on the right. And here's a handoff. Armstrong backfield drop back at the 8-yard line. Edward Smith's out there. Brian Singles is also in the lineup from the shotgun. Roll back to the goal line. Throw the ball in the flats over to the left side. Caught and out of bounds of the 18. Shy of a first down by about 11 yards. Bring up fourth down with 9.29 to go here in the first period. Well, here's the punt by Baylor. And here is Roberson backing up at the 31. Dropped it. It's on the ground. Baylor's got a shot at it. They pick it up, and they get it inside. Well, they're going to pick it up. They'll kill it right there at the 29. At the 29 did the officials Aggie end of the field. Armstrong, he fumbled the ball. It's on the ground over to the left side, and it is. Oh, no, they're going to say he was down at the 31-yard line. They're going to give Baylor the ball. 9-11 to go. Baylor maintains possession at the Aggie 29, and Karras took the snap in the center of the guard, stepped on his foot, and he fell straight back. And it's a loss on the play back to the 32-yard line. Here's second down and about 13 back at the 33. Karras rolls out, hands off Armstrong, looking for the corner and into the sideline. They go back to the line of scrimmage, the original line of scrimmage on the series of the 29. Third down and 10 at the Aggie 29. Offset in the backfield, two wides on the right. Fakes the handoff, throws over the middle, and that one is incomplete. I think that was intended for Caroga. It was and knocked away with a nice hit there by Jonte Buell and Byron Jones close by and bring up fourth down. It's lined up on the left hash. Waller the snapper, Bell the holder, and Webb the kicker from 46 yards. Into the wind, Dave. It's down. The kick is away. The kick is through. It's good. Baylor has put three on the board. Texas A&M leads 7-3 with 8.22 left to go. I think the coach is going to tell you you need to play well enough where the officials never affect the game. I agree with you. Kickoff's going to be short. The Aggies are coming up to about the 10-yard line. It's Murphy to the 15. Got a block there at the 20, 25. Skips over a man all the way out to the 29-yard line. Two flags down. Got a flag at the 28-yard line and one at the 34-yard line. They got a hold against AM back at the 20-yard line. Well, maybe uh, yeah, back to the uh, 12 is we're going to spot this one. So it was out up across the 22, I guess, 23-yard line. The Ags a touchdown. Baylor a field goal. The handoff in the backfield. Lewis knocks a, a keeper by is that McNeil out across yes. the 20. Fake to Lewis and then carries out to the 26-yard line and an Aggie first down. All right, the Aggies come to the line of scrimmage. It's now at the 24-yard line. It's the official spot here in the play action by McNeil. Throws it, and it's a little bit low, trying to get that into the hands of Taylor. Uh, Taylor. Jason Carter oh, there, Carter. Dave. A little bit low on Jason. Yeah. Seven, not two. Goes incomplete. It'll be second down and ten coming up. Lewis, the only man in the backfield. And McNeil has moved under center as he barks signals and puts Van Zandt in motion. And it goes to Lewis. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage on second down and ten. It's going to be a third down and ten coming up. Once more from the 24-yard line. Carter and and Jamar Taylor to the right side. You got Terrence and Terrence here on the left side and get a flag. And motion, Taylor coming back to this side with uh, Thomas and Murphy. And it's a penalty against Texas A&M on a third down and 10. It'll be third down and 15 now. Clock shows 7-12, first period. Aggies ahead, 7-3 over Baylor. Move it back to the 19-yard line, face third down and 15. Clock rolling from 6.53, shotgun McNeil. Three wides on this side. Has his snap, steps up in the pocket, he throws, and there is a collision. Now finally a flag will go down out of about the 35 as the defensive back and then uh, Murphy rolled up together at the 35, and now another flag goes down. 
As the play was whistled dead, it's on the ground and at the same spot where the first flag was thrown at about the 31-yard line. And here's Hal Dowden. Defensive pass interference, Baylor. And a personal foul, Baylor. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, young man that interfered with Terrence Murphy had quite a bit of conversation with Terrence all the way back, and that, that's uncalled for. I tell, you, I tell you, as a coach, boy, you don't want to have any personal files, let alone two uh, in the first quarter of a football game. Here's Hal Dowden. Pass interference against the defense. Be a spot foul. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct against the defense. 15-yard penalty. First down. Wow. 6.46 on the clock, first period. Aggies lead 7-3, play action. McNeil throws, and it is a catch. And that's Murphy across the 40 to the 37-yard line. Murphy leaping high in the air to bring that one down, defended by Matt Johnson. Anthony Wright's in the lineup now at a receiving position. He is to the right, way out right side of Thomas. And the handoff, that is Courtney. Big hole across the middle, all the way down to the 25-yard line. The Aggies lead 7-3, six minutes to go in the first quarter. Throw it out in the flats, caught by Jamar. And Jamar Taylor will get about five on that one from the 20 to the 15-yard line, defended by Anthony Arline out of San Antonio, Madison. Ash marked to the uh, left side, and McNeil's under center. Call signals, hands off. Lewis, little hole, left side. He's across the 10. He's inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. Again, it's going to be a second down now at about 4. They spotted him at the 9-yard uh, line. Send Van Zandt in motion from an eye. It's a delay. Goes to Lewis. Nice hole. Five inside the five. Three. It's going to be first and goal. AM. Two tight ends. A full house backfield. Under five to go. The handoff will go to Lewis. Caught in the backfield. Drop back outside the line of scrimmage. Back at the four yard line. Will take us a tight end left side on the right side. Quinlan, Germany. And the full house backfield. But this time Jamar Taylor goes in motion. And it's play action. McNeil under a little pressure. Got away from that man. Now he's all the way back here at the 15. Coming sideline back at the 10. Jukes a man. And he dives and goes out of bounds at the Baylor 6-yard line. It's going to be third and goal now at the Baylor 6. Stop the clock. 4-13. First quarter. Aggies lead Baylor 7-3. Again, they go with the full house backfield. Van Zant is the motion man this time. Run the option. And now Reggie wanted to uh, make the pitch. He had to stop. Then he starts up again. Couldn't find his pitch man. Never really looked back in that direction. He goes to the five. Tom Muehlbach, the snapper. Todd Pegram missed uh, two field goals on the year so far. Dustin Long, of course, the holder. Angled on the right hash. Here comes the snap. Ball is down. Pegram's foot is into it. Kick is away. The kick is through. Texas A&M leads 10-3 to with 3.31 left to go in the first quarter. Uh, Pegram had missed his last two field goals of 33 and 44. There was not a good hold on that 44 in Tech. He hit eight in a row to start the year. Here's the kickoff. Andrews taking it on the S in Texas. Out to the five, to the ten. He's looking for the left corner. Out across the 20 and out to about the 22, 23 yard line. They go with an I, Evans. And a new tailback is in. That is Anthony Craig. And they're going to throw out in the flats. And it's caught and hit immediately. And dropped down at about the 28 yard line. 25 tackles for the year. One interception. Four career interceptions for Jones. Motion from Baylor out of an eye. The deep pitch goes back to Craig. Looking for the corner. Nice hole. He's out across the 35 to the 40 yard line. That's a Baylor first down. Craig has rushed 25 times. 80 yards. Craig got it again. Gets two to the 42. Again they have the eye with Evans followed by Craig. Craig, flanker to the left side, tied in in that direction, split in right. Kara said something to his running backs. Aggies were trying to time it. Handoff goes to Craig across the 45, out to about the 49-yard line will go Craig. Baylor now has a total of 46 yards in total offense. The Aggies have 64. The I formation on third down and two near midfield. Karras handoff Craig. Craig fighting for it. And he goes bursting out of a big old buildup of uh, players on both sides of midfield and falls across the midfield stripe to the Aggie 47. The Aggies have a touchdown and a field goal in the game to lead 10-3. Baylor has the field goal. 1-12 to go in the first. Baylor, a new set of downs at the Aggie 47. Throw it out here, and it is a catch by Caroga. And he caught it. Second down play at the Aggie 41. Two wides on the left. There's no tight end in this formation. The handoff again, Craig. Craig trying to get a first down on a second down and about four carries across the 40, and he will pick up all but a yard of that. So it's going to be third down and one coming up. Started back at their own 12-yard line to 
Get it inside the Baylor 10. The handoff. It will be Evans, the fullback. I think he got the first down. Time has run out here in the first quarter. We're going to take it to the second. The Aggies are up over Baylor. Baylor will be driving from the Aggie 36-yard line. Baylor has the ball, just got a first down, and a first down and 10. They have it at the Aggie 37-yard line. High formation behind Karras, two wides on the left, and the tackle on the right side is uncovered. Here is the handoff to Craig. The initial stop was missed there by Tay-Tay Thompson in the backfield. They got a yard. Craig is the uh, tailback, Evans the fullback. Play action by Karras throws as he is in the tennis set. Let's go to a touchdown, Dave. A pal's down the sideline. He's got a man closing on him. Will that guy get to him? No way. He did not a pal a touchdown. Jackson Jackson, baby. Big time play by Jackson on that interception for a touchdown. Boy, he's a, he's a special football player. What a wonderful young man. That was a nice job. Somebody got a big time hit on Karras as he was delivering the ball. We're going to look at the replay, and it's still going to be inconclusive. He caught that at the 35-yard line on the interception, and Jackson Appel just got his third interception of the year and his seventh career interception and a touchdown for Appel. That's the first defensive touchdown we have scored this year. That is a confidence builder right there to come away with two interceptions already and one for a score is excellent. Extra point is up and good. It's now the Aggies up by a score of 17 to three over the Bears. All right, the Aggies just got their first defensive touchdown of the season. A 65 yard interception returned by Jackson Appel will be his third interception of the season and the seventh of his career. He had an earlier interception in the first game of the year against Arkansas State and also had one against Utah. And he gets one here against Baylor. Here's the kickoff. Andrews backing up, thinks about it, takes the knee, and they'll bring it out to the 20-yard uh, line. High formation, Karras under center, and it goes to Armstrong who returns. He gets across the 20s out to the 24 on the right side. Have two in a slot on the left side, tied in on the right side, short side. Now they put Armstrong in motion. They're empty in the backfield. Karras has it, pumps once. He's going to be hit as he throws the ball. He's knocked down back there by Montgomery. It goes incomplete. Now third down and six coming up. Running back to the right of Karras. He's under pressure. He steps up, still under pressure, still trying to get rid of it. Broke out now. He is down at the 21. Line of scrimmage is the 21, Sepulveda, Daniel Sepulveda, freshman redshirt, who has an average of 46 on 32 kicks, takes a high snap, punts away, Roberson drifting over to the left side, waiting on it at the 27-yard line, drops back to the 26, starts his return, has a man with him, and breaks out across the 35 to the 38-yard line. That's more like it. So two interceptions today against Karras. And here's play action by McNeil on first down, going far sideline. He's got Carter, and he is out of bounds when he caught the ball. Down around the 25-yard line. Shotgun for McNeil on the second down and 10. Inside handoff, Farmer across the 40. As he crisscrossed there, went from the right side to the left side about the 43-yard line. Shotgun. Farmer again lined up to the right of McNeil. He's got two wides, both sides. Looking to the right throws, and that's a good bat down, and that was batted down by Daniel McLean. Return man Andrew standing back at the 10-yard line for the Bears. Good snap, kicks off to the left side. Let's see, oh, it took a Baylor roll. It hit at the 26-yard line, 27-yard line, and went, took a left turn, went right into the Baylor bench at the 27. All right, an eye formation for Baylor on first down and 10 at their own 27. Hash mark right side. Play action by Karras. Rolls right, looking down the field. Chase from the backside throws. And that will be a catch and out of bounds. Minimal gain. Maybe a couple of yards as that one's caught by Jonathan Evans, the fullback out of Duncanville, his ninth reception of the season. Two picked up, second eight. Here's the second down and eight. Karras looked long, and now he throws, and it's batted up in the air by Weston. For a and Baylor, third down and eight at their own uh, 29. They've thrown it out in the flats. That's a catch, and that's not going to be enough for a first down. Well, somebody really swatted that guy. So now they're going to punt the ball. Line of scrimmage is the Baylor 35. Roberson standing back at the Aggie 25. Here's the uh, punt. It's away, and he's telling everybody to get away from it. It goes sideline and rolls out at the Aggie 26-yard line. Second quarter uh, this year for the Aggies, their best quarter in scoring of the 127 points they have on the board through five games. 52 of them have come in the second. Shotgun for McNeil. Steps up. He's under pressure. Somebody has him by the ankle. 
That man's going to be an assist and dragging him down at the 20-yard line and a loss of six back to the 20. The Tidrick was really starting to come on, a big target for the Aggies. Riley with a catch against Virginia Tech and a touchdown reception against Texas Tech. It's an inside handoff. They'll try. No, it was a keeper by McNeil. 30, 35, 40. He is to midfield and into the Baylor bench at the 47. That's the second time today he has done that. And I think everybody was buying Farmer on the inside handoff, and McNeil just scampers 33 on the keeper. Oh boy, is he fun. The Aggies now in Baylor territory at the Bear 47, leading 17 to 3, 10, 12 to go. This time, indeed, it is a handoff, and it's hit in the backfield, but a yard out of that, and a flag goes down as the handoff went to Keith Joseph. There's a flag down at the spot of the tackle. That was a yard pickup to the 46-yard line. It was first and 10 at the 47. McNeil, five carries and 38 yards. Foul. Foul. I guess today, Oh, personal, personal foul. foul. Well, they're, having, they're having some problems in that area today. First down and 10, 9.59 to go until halftime. Aggies lead 17 to 3. Baylor's on defense. The Aggies play in O. Germany's in motion. Right to left. Handoff goes to Courtney. Started inside, bouncing it outside. 30, 30, 25-yard line and caught behind the... Uh, Shoulder pads there, up, right up around that jersey, right underneath his helmet, and he goes down at the 24 is the spot. Germany again in motion, eye formation on second down. Here is a draw, goes to Farmer. Farmer, no first down. Third down and a couple. Two tights, eye formation, Jamar Taylor in motion. Play action, McNeil, throw it. That's going to be a catch. That is Joseph out of the backfield, across the 15, down to the 11-yard line, first down, A&M. Ags lead 17 to 3, 8 10 to go until halftime. Handoff, Farmer, right side, has the five and out of bounds at about the four yard line. High formation, two tights. Carragher over on the left side, Germany right side. The handoff goes to Farmer, fights, and he's going to be close uh, for a first down. I don't think he quite got the one. It's going to be third and less than a yard as Farmer tries the middle. Ashmark favors right side. Full house backfield, Van Zant is flexed out right side. Now he goes in motion. Reggie starts the option. He is looking for the goal line. Reggie, a touchdown! Interesting formation there, Dave. They had uh, Quinlan Germany was the actual the guy split out here as the wide receiver. Uh, Reggie ran the option to the top side there and just kept the ball for an easy score for the Aggies. I've got that as his first rushing touchdown of the season. McNeil on that carry from the two to make it 23-3. to three. And now the point after to come with Pagram to attempt this. And deep snappers, Don Mule back, and uh, it will be Dustin Long with the hold at the 10-yard line. It's down, it is up, and the extra point is a good one. And the Aggies have made it 24-3. to And we have 7.37 remaining until the intermission. Short kickoff, and Andrews has taken it at the 11. Here comes his return. He almost lost the ball as he's hit and dropped at the 25-yard line. That one squirted up right in front of his face. He reached out and brought it back in. Players of the week for the Aggies last week in the game against Texas Tech. Offensive back Reggie McNeil. Offensive lineman Aldo De La Garza. No one named on the defensive back position. Nobody in defensive line. The special teams guy was Don Muehlbach. Baylor will run on a pitch to the right side. Armstrong got a yard. Going to hit the seven-minute mark. It'll roll under seven. Single set back. Here he is. Karras having to eat that one. The Aggies will come breaking through. And on that, that's going to be Archie McDaniel. And a drop back at the 18-yard line on Karras. He looked up. And all he could see was the face mask of Archie McDaniel. It's third down and 17 to go. Baylor with the ball. Karras pointing something out here as he's calling signals. Has his snap, it's a draw, and that is read well by the Aggies inside the 15 and dropped back at the 13-yard line. Aggies lead 24-3. to three. High snap, Sepulveda steps into it. Roberson drifting over here to the left side. Let's see if he's going to try to feel that. He does, and he dropped it, and it rolls out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Got Jamar Taylor. On the right, they're going to put Joseph in motion. The setback is Farmer. Farmer play action. 
carries it into the line. Here's a throw, and that should have been intercepted by Baylor, and it was out at about the 43-yard line. That went in and out of the hands of Matt Johnson. Second down and 10 at the Aggie 30-yard line, 527. Here's the inside handoff. Farmer, big hole, 40. He's to midfield. He's got a chance. He's a block. Man closing on him. He's at the 25-20. He's at the 10. They knock him out of bounds at the... Eight-yard line. That's Farmer. He started left, and he brought it all the way back to this side of the field. First and goal, Texas A&M at the Baylor eight-yard line. 5.15 to go until halftime. Aggies lead 24-3, to three, and that one just went 62 yards by Farmer. There's two tight ends. Taylor is a flanker. He's in motion right to left. Hash right. Hand it off, goes to uh, Courtney Lewis, 10, cuts it back to his left, 5, and downed at about the 2.5-yard line. Breaks out of the eye, goes left. There's a handoff to Keith Joseph. He's fighting inside the 1-yard uh, line, but shy of the goal. Here we go now with a third and goal at the 1-yard line. Split in off to the right, man flexed out outside the tight end. The snap, it goes to Lewis. Lewis dives, touchdown! <laughs> From the one, Courtney Lewis, his eighth touchdown of the season. Just made it 30-3 to with 3.50 to go until the halftime. How about that? Highlighted by a 62-yard run by Derek Farmer. Not quite the longest of his career, 65 against Iowa State. Here's the extra point. It's down, it's up by Pegram, and the extra point is good. Aggies have just made it 31-3. to Here's Skates kickoff. Andrews coming up at the six-yard line. Quickly back to the 15, the 20, and he is caught and drugged down by Irvin Taylor. Anthony Scalante. Scalante. Aggies have five scoring drives in this game. Armstrong, little burst of speed out across the 25 to the 28-yard line. Keep an eye on their tailback. He's had 10 carries. We've got to do a good job wrapping him up. Come with an eye. They're going to pitch it to Armstrong going wide right. The Aggies are closing on him. He breaks through that. He's got a first down. He's out to the 35-yard line. And Baylor waiting on the snap. They've got three wides here on the left side all bunched in.